So hello my friends, Devon Linux here, Photography PX. In today's video we'll cover the best drone controllers, specifically drone flight controllers. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. Building a quadcopter from scratch requires many components, but the most important of all is the flight controller. In many respects, it's the nervous system of these devices, and it's your main point of contact while in the air that conveys the information received from the transmitter into actionable outputs to the drone. The circuit board alone houses all of a drone's main components, and it's what ultimately decides aerial performance and maneuverability. So choosing a suitable controller here for your aircraft will significantly affect the final outcome. But going into the DIY realm isn't without its challenges, and picking the right controller to meet your intended flying style is a moderately daunting task requiring some research and technical knowledge. Even so, building your drone from scratch will be immensely rewarding and definitely worth the investment. So to help you in your quest to find the right controller for your next build, we compiled a list of the best options on the present market. We've also compiled a brief guide on the most important aspects to consider and help clarify some of the technical nuances with these devices. And you can find that in the accompanying blog post below. Coming in number five, Abusemark's NACE32. The NACE32 originally by Abusemark is an excellent option for those building a small or mid-sized aircraft. This controller includes a three-axis gyro and supports up to six motors, but it can also act as a standalone camera stabilizer. It also uses a 32-bit processor, though it does use the older F3 Evo architecture. Thankfully, it's an entirely open source platform using multi-Wii configuration and supports the popular clean flight system and at only five grams it packs some punch for such a small controller other features include low battery voltage monitoring and a built-in inverter overall the nace 32 is an excellent starter option for seasoned pilots looking to embark into the diy territory Coming at number four, Hobby King's Race 32 Micro. The Race 32 Micro from Hobby King is designed with racing in mind, and at a weight of just five grams as well, it's ultra lightweight and perfect for shaving off unnecessary airborne weight. And this makes it ideal for racing, where every gram is critical in winning. But unlike the Nays 32, it comes with some extra perks. In this case, it also uses a stackable design and a full complement of ports, so you can integrate an on-screen display if designed desired, but it too uses a slightly older SM32F3 processor rather than the later F4 architecture, but thankfully it too is fully compatible with CleanFlight, and it does offer all the necessary boards of controllers twice its size. Other features include black box logging, low battery voltage monitoring, programmable LEDs, and a built-in inverter. Overall, Hobby King's Race 32 Micro is an excellent option ideally suited for racing quadcopters. Coming number three, Pixhawk's PX4. The Pixhawk PX4 is a collaborative release with Holy Bro and Autirian, and it brings a 32-bit ARM architecture that now removes the 8-bit APM flight controller altogether. As such, it now becomes far more powerful and a monumental leap forward. The Pixhawk is an open source platform supporting Audrey Pilot and PX4, making a hit amongst the DIY crowd. So if you're looking to tinker, you can use this board as a starting point to configure it as you wish. But by default, the kit comes with a low noise IMU for stabilization and an isolated vibration design reducing that particular headache. Other features include external multi-controlled LEDs, redundant power, and a micro SD slot to record flight data. Overall, the Pixhawk PX4 is an excellent option for seasoned pilots wanting a more modular system. Coming in number two, Holy Bros Kakude F4. Holy Bros Kakude All-in-One, now on its second generation, brings an F4 processor with a soft-mounted gyroscopic sensor. Holy Bros mounted the IMU chip on a vibration isolating foam. As such, the Kakude F4 gives you more freedom to use it with different ESCs. And this alone removes the headache involved with mounting the controller properly to avoid aerial vibrations. This model also comes with DJI FPV video transmitter support from the get-go, so you can use that system if you plan on flying an FPV, which is excellent as digital transmission offers some notable advantages over analog. Other features include black box logging, better flight OSD support, altitude hold, a dedicated bootloader, and low battery voltage monitoring. 
Overall, Holy Broad's Kakude F4 is a solid option for seasoned pilots wanting the benefits of a soft mounted flight controller. Coming number one, DJI's NASA M version 2. The NASA M version 2 by DJI is quite a popular choice and brings new features to the range. Namely, it now includes GPS, providing better altitude hold with functionality and refined in-air stability. DJI has also updated the two-axis stabilization algorithm, further improving the results, and there's a new takeoff mode too. Yet, the NASA M continues to provide excellent safety and makes landing possible should a motor fail during flight. But unlike rivals, this is a closed source platform, so if you want to perform it advanced modifications, you won't have access to the necessary code to do so. Even so, the controller is quite comprehensive, fairly advanced, and entirely plug and play. So no hassling with configuring the device manually. Other features include automatic return home, orientation control, motor failure protection, low battery voltage monitoring, and takeoff assistance. Overall, the NASA M version 2 is an excellent controller for larger hex or octocopter drones, but it's also a great choice to create a powerful aerial photography drone as well, or if you want something simple, plug and play, and dependable. So there you have it, my friends. There's our list of the best drone controllers. For more information, check out our website, photographypx.com. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Let us know if we overlook something or we miss something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>